Corsair RM series power supplies are optimized for silent operation. Click now to learn more. This is not the first time we've unboxed a watch from Tokyo Flash Japan, although this is the first time we've unboxed a watch that's made of wood. This is the Rogue SR2. It includes, as you can see right here, a user's manual. So the whole Tokyo Flash thing is that they've got uniquely designed watches, many of which are difficult to read if you haven't been trained in the fine art of reading them. So this one is no exception there. It also has a very, very unique design that is, as I mentioned before, wood. So check this out. The entire face of the watch, with the exception of the lens right here, so just the, the glass cover, is made of uh, just kind of a, actually a beautifully finished wood, so you can see all the wood grain here around the dial, as well as for the, uh, the body of the watch right here. I'd say if I had to complain about something, the fit and finish around these knobs isn't quite as perfect as you might want, but given the price of their watches in general, it's something that I can definitely understand. Um, as with all their other watches, it's fully adjustable, so you're, it's going to arrive in probably quite a large configuration. So you can see, for me to try to put this on is going to look kind of ridiculous. So here you go. Even for slick, this is quite a bit too big. So there you go. Um, I've actually done guides for how to adjust their watches in previous Tokyo Flash watch unboxing videos, so I'm not going to do it this time around. I'm going to make it Slick's problem to do his own watch resizing. Uh, the way that the clasp works is pretty darn standard, so if you've ever seen a watch clasp before, you just hold on to those guys, open her up like that, looks pretty good. The back of the watch is, again, pretty standard for a watch. It actually uses a one watch battery, so with some of the uh, Tokyo Flash watches we've looked at before, they're completely LED driven, so they actually use internal batteries and then you charge them via micro USB. Not the case with this one, they expect the battery to last for about a year in normal use. The band is what looks truly unique to me, so you've actually got a two-tone wood finish here that's got a darker wood in the middle and then a lighter wood around the outside as an accent. In fact, it wouldn't even necessarily be noticeable to me immediately that this watch is made of wood. I might actually have a hard time figuring out exactly what it's made of if I didn't already know. So it's available in a few different colors. We got the orange one because uh, the one that we really wanted was out of stock. Slick's going to be the one who's uh, laying claim to this particular watch, so you might even see him wearing it when we're uh, down at PAX Prime if you're looking for him. And let's get into how you actually read the freaking thing. So. The main large blocks here are going to give you the hours. The tiny blocks around the outside of that, here maybe if I light this up you'll be able to see it a little better. So down there around 25, that gives you the exact minutes. The, sorry, did I say, haha, <laughs> the big blocks are approximate minutes. So that gives you at a glance, okay, it's about 20 past or 25 past, and then you can see the exact ones down there. The inner blocks are the hours, and then AM and PM are denoted by two little half sort of third circles here or there. So it is PM right now that this watch is set to because there's a little circle along the side there. There's an indicator for if your alarm set and all that and then you've obviously got the two buttons here for changing all the different settings that you might need to do. It has an orange backlight that's actually quite strong. There you go, hopefully I can get you a good look at that. And other than that, I guess there's not really too much to say. So if you want to check out some of their watches, I personally like some of the all digital ones a little bit better than this one, but Slick really liked the wooden design, so we wanted to check this out. Um, so tokyoflashjapan.com. Guys, thank you for watching my unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and as always, leave a comment if you have something to say. Or even if you don't have something to say. Let's see how many people put razor dongers in the comments under this video.